And we are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Animation Commendation. If you want to be a leader, Animation Edition, with your host, Ibrahim, aka Mark Brown. And I'm back for episode five of season four of this game show. We have, this is our fifth contestant. No one's made it to the moment yet, but maybe this contestant can. Today we have with us Mr. Brian Crawford, a, you know, a pretty much, you know, Disney fanatic, especially with, <laughs> with live action Disney. And I, I personally uh, uh, played against him on the disc quiz, if you might have seen that episode. So we have him. Him. We have him here to try, yeah, to try his hand at an animation game show. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, Mark. Hey, thanks for having me on. No problem. Thanks for coming I've, on. I've seen it. I've seen the episodes, <laughs> and it looks pretty exciting. Even though I'm a Disney guy, <laughs> I've watched cartoons ever since I was like probably three. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's maybe even funny. younger. So, you know, <laughs> Flintstones. <laughs> hey, sometimes you get food some questions, you never know. <laughs> yeah, anything Hanna Barbera, you know, let's do it. <laughs> okay, hopefully you get a lot of Disney and Hanna Barbera on this. Yeah. So for those of you tuning in for the first time, this is a multi uh, twelve question multiple choice game show about anything even remotely related to animation. As long as Mr. Crawford keeps getting questions right, he goes high up the ladder. Once he gets one wrong, that's the end of the game. He leaves the last number of points from the last safe haven. That's three life chance to help him. A fifty fifty, he can get rid of two wrong answers. A phone or friend if he chooses, he can call someone for help or ask the expert. This season our expert is Eli Sanza, an animation and entertainment uh, junkie, and he's the guy who won the game show last season. I've asked him all these questions previously, and Mr. Crawford, to see how he answered, decided if he wants to go with that or not. So, okay. if, one last question. Are you ready to play on there? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Whew. I'm going to share my screen with you. This all right. Work. Okay. Hey, should I say a little bit about myself? Well, I think you already did that already. Did I? Oh, well, I'm Disney Caveman on Instagram, so okay. that's about the only thing I do, nice. social media wise. I'll make sure so, I'll put a link to that below. Okay. So can you see the screen? Yep, the animation edition. Okay. Uh, um, wait, let me let me just check something here. I don't know why. Okay. Nice screensaver. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Lumiere. I just watched that the other day, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I saw it. I was watching on your um, Instagram stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should say, yeah, my goal this year is to watch, like, all of the uh, theatrically released uh, Disney uh, animated movies. And also, since I'm a big live action, that all of the pre-1980 Disney live action movies. So, well, I got a long way to go. I'll be a fun job. <laughs> I assume you're not going in order. I'm going, uh, I started with the Renaissance era with the animation. Okay. So I uh, started with The Little Mermaid okay. and I, I watched Pocahontas yesterday. Nice. And uh, I started my first uh, True Life Adventures live action movie yesterday, The uh, the Living Desert. So oh, okay. I'm still in the, I'm still in the 50s. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never watched any of those True Life Adventures, but I'm, yeah. I'd like them. <laughs> They're fun. Yeah, so far so good. I, I get a good deal on the uh, the four DVD set <laughs> on eBay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, that, that's good there. All the best in, on that journey of yours. And um, can you, you can see the screen, right? Yep, I see the ladder of points. Ladder of points, the yellow ones mm -hmm. are your benchmarks. Once you get to those, you can't lose them no matter what. Okay. No. And this is your expert, Eli Sanza. Everyone, please check out his blog, eJunkieBlogWordPress.com. So pay attention to what he says. He says, my strength is in the American animation, especially Disney Pixar and DreamWorks. I'm pretty proud with Studio Ghibli and most foreign and indie animation. The older the film is, the more help I'll be. I'm good with classic animation. My knowledge of anime TV is okay, but lies between the 60s and 90s. Okay. So keep that in mind. Shall we start? Let's start. Let's start. 500 points. <laughs> Let's go. All right. In the field of animation, what does the term CGI stand for? The cool guys imitate. Canadian geese and vibe, few Greek icicles, or computer generated imagery. All right, so cool guys imitate, huh? <laughs> you think it's that? <laughs> well, I um, I'm, I think I, I got this one. I'm gonna not go with the Q Greek icicles. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Sounds cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick D, computer generated imagery final answer well i mean is that right is that not right your answer is <laughs> correct good job all right Ooh, that's a hard one wasn't it 
Yeah, I mean, I'm I, I'm pretty familiar with acronyms, so given my line of work in the military, so <laughs> we use them every day. <laughs> AWOL and everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're doing fine. The next one is 1,000 points. I have to remind you, if you get it wrong, you leave with nothing. I don't think it's going to happen. I just have to remind you. <laughs> hey, it could. I, I highly doubt that, but let's go. 1,000 points. In which of the following DreamWorks animation films are the main characters human beings instead of animals? The Kung Fu Panda, The Prince of Egypt, Shark Tale, or Ants? Wow, you know, I've actually seen like two of these. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, we love the Kung Fu Panda that because Jack Black did the did the voice for Panda, and I'm yeah. a big Jack Black fan. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure that's not he's not human. He's a panda, and the sharks all about sharks and ants. I'm guessing is about ants. <laughs> <laughs> but I have seen the Prince of Egypt, and so. I'm gonna go ahead and say B, the Prince of Egypt, final answer for that oh. one. Uh, did you get this right? Are you still in the game? Your answer is <laughs> correct. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in it. <laughs> <laughs> you have a thousand points, so how's it feel? Hey, that's a good movie too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've heard nothing but praise for this. Yeah. I, I get the, the animation alone makes me wish DreamWorks would make more hand-drawn animation films, but they're not gonna do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's gonna. That's uh, takes quite a while to do that. Yeah, but, that's true. You know, we got the technology. Might as well use it. Exactly. That's <laughs> one way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. You got one thousand points. No matter what happens, you can't leave it less than that. Hey, I, um, so far I'm two for two with non Disney. So yeah, yeah. So far, yeah. so far. You're Come counting. on, random generator. <laughs> Let's keep going. Two thousand points. <laughs> the 2009 cartoon saloon film, The Secret of Kells based on the origin of the illuminated manuscript, The Book of Kells, takes place in which country? A, Ireland. B, Ethiopia. C, Brazil. Or D, Pakistan. The Secret of Kells. Wow. Are you familiar with this? No. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know what a cartoon saloon film, is that a company? That's another company, yes. Is that another, okay. Yeah. Well, you, you know. The Book of Kells? No, I should be, huh? <laughs> well, good thing is you have. Well, it, like it's that. probably not Brazil, so Book of Kells, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards Ireland, the Ethiopia and Pakistan. I'm not really sure about those. Hmm. Well, you get yeah, since, guess or you have since I've never, never seen it, and your expert is like a 60s to 90s guy. <laughs> Well, he says 60 to 90s in terms of TV. Yeah. Oh, TV. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Secret of Kells. In terms of movies, he knows earlier. Uh, I mean, uh, recent ones. <laughs> yeah. See, if I even heard of the book, I'd probably be able to get this one right. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I guess it's too early to like take a guess. <laughs> so. Well, let's that, let's, uh, let's go with your expert. Let's let's phone your expert guy. Want to go to Eli? <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't even think I could narrow it down between Ireland, Ethiopia, or Pakistan. So. Okay, well, let's go to Eli. We asked him this question. He said, "I am a hundred percent sure the answer is." Yeah, Eli. see, that's what I was going with because it just sounds like Kells sounds Irish. <laughs> so we'll go ahead with A, Ireland. Final answer. Well, you're leaning towards that, and Eli is 100% yeah. sure. Your answer is correct. Good job. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's this uh, yeah, cartoon saloon. They're oh, Irish, cool. They're an Irish no. animation company, and they um, the style of animation is really, really beautiful. I say check it out. So it's based on this okay. book called The Book of Kells, which I guess is like a famous manuscript in Catholic Roman Catholicism, or at least in, I in Ireland. So it's All like right. a, an origin story of that book. <laughs> Well, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, so it was nominated for Academy Award Best Animated Feature. <laughs> really? Yeah. Back in okay. 2009. 2009, huh? Yeah, so, well, Eli helped you, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Eli. Thanks, Appreciate Eli. it, buddy. <laughs> I'll check out your blog, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've earned that now, Eli. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep going, sir. 5,000 points. Which Batman actor 
voices the wizard Howl in the 2004 Studio Ghibli film Howl's Moving Castle. And again, I'm referring to the English Disney dub, not the Japanese. Mm -hmm. Is it A, Michael Keaton? B, Val Kilmer? C, Christian Bale? Or D, Ben Affleck? I know you're, you're a big Disney guy. Why are you into like the Studio Ghibli? Yep, I, I actually own all of the, uh, the uh, Howl's move, uh, Studio Ghibli uh, movies. Oh, nice, you know. nice. My wife is from Japan, so <laughs> okay, that we, uh, I love, Howl's Moving Castle is a fantastic movie. Nice, but, nice. Yeah, I love all of them. Yeah, I, I love this movie too. And usually when we watch these, though, <laughs> we watch them with the Japanese audio. Oh, and we read so. the subtitles. So I'm not really familiar with, uh, with, with who, let's see. Let's see, so Howl is the... Uh, the male character, right? The one that kind of gets beat, he gets beat up pretty good. <laughs> ah, and so it's 2004. Yeah. So I think that was before Christian Bale's Batman. Well, 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 when I say Batman actor, I just mean yeah. he also played it. I don't mean they played it at the time. <laughs> I want to say it's Michael Keaton that did the voice here. So I have to remind you, you have your lifelines if you want. Uh, just have to remind you, uh, Eli said Studio Ghibli was not his big, his best subject. Oh, it wasn't? It wasn't. So oh. Know. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and do 50-50. I'll give it a two. Yeah. All right, let's do it a two for you. And it's Michael Keaton and Christian Bale. Right, I'm going to go with Michael Keaton, A, final answer. Why do you say A? <laughs> it just seemed like the right answer. <laughs> I just that, that's how, what I'm that was my gut. So <laughs> okay. well you said you weren't you weren't hundred percent sure, but you think it's Michael Keaton. Yeah. That's right, sir. You're still in the game. Get it wrong. That's the end of the game. That's it. Right. And go back and watch the Olympics, huh? <laughs> go the, uh, exactly. You go down to a thousand. Your answer is Oh, oh man! I'm so sorry. Hey, you don't gotta post this one now. <laughs> <laughs> you leave it a thousand. Don't worry. You're not. A lot of people have, have are with you and are tied with you, so it's ah. not, not just you alone. So okay. Yeah, yeah, it actually was Christian Bale. He um, he uh, he was did the voice for the English dub for this. Wow! There he is. So, Boy. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry that the end did so quickly, but like I said. <laughs> You're not. This has happened at least three or four times already. So yeah. Don't well, <laughs> didn't get any Disney ones. So. Didn't get any Disney, sadly. I, I think. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think this cat random generated didn't have. They had Studio Disney. Ghibli's close enough, though. But like yeah, yeah. I said. But it's because you watched watch them. The Japanese. <laughs> you watch the legit. Watch the Japanese audio. Yeah. <laughs> you watch the correct version. <laughs> so anyway, um, so you have a thousand, so you're tied with a couple other people, um. I'm, I had a lot of fun hosting this, and I hope you did too, Clay. In. And before we go, is there anything you want to say, or how can people find you online? No, just, uh, um, well, I just wish I could have done a little bit better. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. Uh, I'm good friends with Mark, and uh, he's, he's a good guy. And uh, just encourage you to to check out his uh, his blog, which I follow religiously. The uh, his he has a great live action movie blog. He re he's reviewing every single theatrically released live action movie by by Disney, and so it's a great resource for live action movie fans. So go out there and check it out. And then uh, after you get done reading that, go to Disney Caveman on Instagram and give me a follow. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. I and uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just I'm kind of a I focus more on, on uh, Walt Disney, his life and what he did and uh, live action films and then also international parks because we've been to been to some of those. Not Shanghai or Paris yet, but uh, Tokyo and Hong Kong are, are some of our favorite places to visit. Nice, nice. That's good. So I'll post yeah. a link to your thing down below. Okay. And thanks, for so, so much fun having you. Yeah. Sorry you, you finished now, <laughs> but, but I, it was still fun. You, you did good. You, did, you, you used your gut though, so. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. But for those of you watching, we had five contestants, none made it to the million. Five more to go, so keep watching. Maybe see who gets to the million this season. Take care. Bye. All right.